Tina Fey and Maya Rudolph, Kristen Wiig, Rachel Dratch, we all, we all hail Carol as the queen. She has all these talents. She can sing and she's so funny and she's a great physical comedian. You could take all those same sketches and all those same jokes and give them to somebody else and it wouldn't work. Yarn. Yarn. George, I'm talking to you. What are you doing, Zelda? That's my favorite Western. I wanted to show you my new nightgown. Well, what do you think? I hate it. You can see right through it. I know. <laughs> I love her on both levels. I love her as a performer, and I love her personally. And I think everybody felt the same way towards each other on that show. <laughs> everybody loved Carol, and Carol loved everybody. And then it was like you felt that in addition to the craziness that was going on. She believed in ensemble, and I believe in that too, and the people I work with believe in that too, and they care about it. But besides that, she, she's a lovely, lovely, lovely woman. Carol is just that wonderful human being that you just want to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner with, and you want to laugh with, and even if you cried with, it's all okay. She's, God said, okay, let me make a really perfect, terrific woman. Don't you get tired of being a sex symbol? Yes, I do get very tired of it. It's not easy. <laughs> I immediately had a crush on Carol Burnett. Just that Q&A thing at the beginning. Are there any questions you might like to ask about us or the show or the people on or whatever? Yeah. Uh, I've been an admirer of yours for many years. I was wondering if you'd have dinner, <laughs> I was wondering if you'd have dinner with us tonight. How old are you? Twelve. You're 12, and you've been an admirer of mine for many years. <laughs> What's your name? Sean Trethaway. Well, Sean, I can't have dinner with you tonight, but uh, if you'll come backstage afterwards, I'll split a Mars bar with you. <laughs> Will you? But now I realize how bulletproof that was because she's so charming and, and, and genuine and sweet. She's very confident and kind of like, how you how y'all doing? You know what I mean? It just had this very welcoming, feeling. You feel like she could have grown up on your street. Yes. Um, we live next door to an old boyfriend of yours and he says hello. You live next door to an old boyfriend of mine and he says hello? <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> oh, there were so many. Uh, who? Tom Tracy. Tommy? <laughs> You're kidding! She lives next door to... How <laughs> <laughs> is he? Do you I loved him from the time I was about 12 years old up through the time I was 17, which was about 10 years ago. <laughs> Give him my love, please. Tell him to come to the show sometime. She feels a thousand percent a real person, um, which is uh, increasingly rare. It can't be possible that it was 1967 when Harvey, Vicki, Lyle, and I stepped on this stage for the first time because it does seem as if it were only yesterday. She created her own kingdom of people that she loved, that she got to work with. She's such a natural leader, and she's a producer and a writer and all of those things. She really inspired us and still does inspire us to do all of those things. I, I am so proud of our show, and quite simply, I'm no dummy. Now is the time to put it to bed and to go on to other things because change is growth. It's hard because all of us around here truly did become a second family. We've been through marriages and divorces and deaths and births. And I know the love that we have shared can never be measured by time. We definitely um, 
we know that the reason why we get to do what we do is because of people like Carol and others paving the way.